Hey everyone, welcome back to Codops Trek. Today, we are going to dive into the world of microservices and explore how they are differ from traditional monolithic architecture. So let's get started. Traditionally, software architecture was predominantly monolithic. In a monolithic architecture, all components of an application are tightly integrated into a single, unified system. Imagine it as a large, single block where every aspect of the application, whether it's the user interface, business logic, or data access, is bundled together and managed within one cohesive unit. In this setup, the entire application runs as a single process. While this approach can simplify initial development and deployment, it can become challenging to scale and maintain as the application grows. Let's understand this with an example. Consider a classic e-commerce platform where user management, product catalog, order management, and a communication service are all part of one large application. User management uses MySQL for structured user data, while both the product catalog and order management use MongoDB for flexible product and order information. The communication service handles notifications and messaging. While this setup might simplify initial development and deployment, as the application grows, it becomes increasingly difficult to scale and maintain. Let's understand the problems with this setup. While there are multiple issues with a monolithic architecture, we'll focus on the major ones. First is, single point of failure, if any service or database goes down, it can bring down the entire application. For example, if the MySQL database for user management fails, users might lose access to their accounts, affecting the whole platform. Second is, performance bottlenecks, as the application scales, performance issues can arise. High traffic on the product catalog or order management services can slow down the entire system. Third is, complex database management, using both MySQL for user management and MongoDB for product and order information adds complexity. Synchronizing and managing to different databases can be challenging. Fourth is, scalability issues, scaling the application as a whole is difficult. If you need to scale the product catalog service, you have to scale the entire application, which is inefficient. Last but not least is, technology limitations, the monolithic design restricts you to a single technology stack. Adopting different programming languages or frameworks for various services is not feasible. These issues underscore the need for a more flexible and scalable approach, such as microservices architecture, to address these challenges effectively. So what is microservice architecture? A microservices architecture is a design approach where an application is divided into small, independent services, each handling a specific business function. These services communicate through APIs and can be developed, deployed, and scaled separately. Let's see how we can change our e-commerce application from monolithic to microservices architecture. So, this is the original e-commerce monolithic architecture. After converting to a microservices architecture, the e-commerce application will transform significantly. In the microservices model, each component, such as user management, communication, product catalog, and order management, is developed as a separate, self-contained microservice. These microservices operate independently and communicate with each other through APIs. Additionally, there is a new component called API Gateway, which serves as the central entry point for all incoming requests and traffic. It routes these requests to the appropriate microservice based on the endpoint and handles cross-cutting concerns like authentication, logging, and load balancing. This architecture enhances request management, scalability, and fault tolerance by isolating failures and allowing independent service management. Furthermore, it supports the use of different programming languages and databases for each microservice, optimizing performance and flexibility. Microservices architecture improves flexibility, scalability, and resilience by breaking applications into independent, self-contained services. It offers features like Independent services, scalability, flexibility, fault tolerance, faster deployment, independent updates and releases etc. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to Codops Trek. See you in the next video.